Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I don't have much to add from what Chairwoman Giddings just said, but the definition of insanity is to keep doing the same things and expecting different results. Here we are again with yet another voter ID bill, expecting to have a different result when we have the same discriminatory measures that are within this bill. We know or we believe that the court is yet again going to strike this down and Texas is going to be in preclearance. We are going to be the only state since the Supreme Court uh, amended Section 2 of the Voting Rights Act in 2013 to be under federal preclearance. Pre Judge Ramos has already alluded to that possibility, and yet here we are again. Members, I know many of you, most of my most conservative friends in this house are proud Christians as I am. And the Bible teaches us in Proverbs 31, 8, 9, that we must speak out for the one who cannot speak, for the rights of those who are doomed. Speak out, judge fairly, and defend the rights of oppressed and needy people. You just heard Representative Giddings talk about the Voting Rights Act and what impact it's had. Members, before the Voting Rights Act was passed in 1965, there were Jim Crow laws in place to suppress and prevent African Americans from voting, a fundamental right that the Constitution allowed them to do. Now, they didn't say we're gonna have these literacy tests, these poll taxes, these uh, recite the Constitution. They didn't say we're gonna have them to prevent African Americans from voting, but that was why they designed them. We are here today when the court has already held that the voter ID law that we passed was the most extreme one in the country. We had a conservative Fifth Circuit Court, the most conservative court, I would argue, in the country to strike it down. And yet, here we are again, making another attempt that we're gonna have more litigation, the eyes upon the nation are gonna be among Texas again with another bad voter ID law. When do we say enough is enough? When do we say we're gonna not discriminate against African Americans and Hispanics? Because that is what the court has ruled. Now, we believe that if we believe in the Constitution, that no eligible voter should be disenfranchised, not one single one. And we know that there are disparities with people who don't have the necessary ID. But yet and still, we had amendments that would have uh, opened the door of opportunity for more people to participate. We had amendments to allow high school students to have a valid ID to be able to vote. We had amendments that college students that were from state universities, they could have been from University of Texas or Texas Southern, if they had a valid student ID that they could vote, we, could, we had amendments that would have allowed that. We had amendments that would have allowed our Indian brothers who really are the founders of this country, we did not allow that to stand. And so here we are debating a bill that is an emergency item, another misplaced priority that is going to have a discriminatory intent. And I beg of this body to please pause before you cast a no vote, because so far most of these votes have been based upon party lines. And voting is a fundamental right. It is not a partisan issue. And we know, based upon what we've already heard today, that this bill will have a dis discriminatory impact among African Americans and Hispanics. So I urge you to please consider having a, a, an, an heart and having a enough conscious to do the right thing and to vote no. Thank you.